Well, hello. That was a great basketball game, uh, with the exception of our turnovers. Both teams, I thought, fought hard and really competed. And uh, another uh, one of those games, I couldn't be more proud of our guys. You know, a number of guys stepped up that uh, you wouldn't maybe notice the box scores, but you might with uh, Mike Anderson. I thought Mike Anderson played best basketball he's played in a while uh, tonight. Uh, Desmond didn't score a lot of points, but he was relentless in terms of his effort. And those are the plays that we expect Desmond to make at the end of that game with the charge, taking that charge. Those are the things that he does that uh, just help you win ball games. I thought our group just persevered tonight and uh, came up with the W against a very good Stanford team who had been playing exceptional basketball. Uh, we won on the boards, which is which is a good thing against that team. Joe, I just thought about you telling the guys let's go into Randall and do that with him. The whole defense is set up for that. The one when he was fouled or the other? The one that doesn't get the charge. No, uh, we, we just did not want to give up a three at that point. That's, we were more important. That was more important to us. You know, if they scored, we get the ball back, but uh, we did not want to give up a three. We thought actually it would go to Powell. Hey, can you did, just how uncertain were you with that call, just with everything that, that's going on with the block charge call this year? And just seems any time that there's- That last one? Mm -hmm. Oh no, that was a charge all the way. Yeah. <laughs> I really did. I thought it was a charge, but I know what you're saying. You, you just don't know what's going to be called, but I don't think I have a biased opinion. I just thought Des uh, stood his ground and was there early enough where it wouldn't be a problem. How can you make any sense of the team you saw in Boulder and the team you saw in the intensity and intensity? My only answer right now is home versus road. That's my only answer. And it's unfortunate that we haven't been better on the road. We still have two more on the road, but uh, I think it's pretty clear we're just a different team this year than we're at home. Anderson Since had, conference play has started. Anderson had a couple of big threes for you guys when you were trailing. And did you talk to him before the game about being more aggressive? It just looked like he was. We've been talking more to him assertive. all year about being more aggressive. Right. Uh, he was just able to stay in there. And, you know, you, you can't discount the fact that. He didn't play inside all night. He played his natural position, the perimeter. And as I keep saying, Mike is probably the most selfless player on our basketball team uh, in this day and age where everybody has to play the perfect position and all. And, uh, he didn't care. He just did it. And I think it, I think it wore him down. I really do. Battling because he's not going to back down and battle. And lately, he's been playing more on the perimeter. And tonight, he didn't have to. Uh, battled down there as much, but he still battled. That's his nature. And he played a great game. You guys, uh, you guys shot 13 threes in the first half and no free throws. How were you able to get better interior shots in the second half? Well, I thought there were a number of times in the first half that we had the ball inside but couldn't hold on to it. Uh, we were there, but we were just too much in a hurry, whether we were delivering the ball or catching the ball. If we catch those balls that were thrown, uh, then we get more, more. I think we get foul for them. Can you talk about your defensive adjustments? You guys just really seem to clamp down in the second half. Well, I just thought, <laughs> as I said before, the adjustment was we did what we were supposed to do. There was no magic formula. There really isn't. And it may seem simple, but it works. I can show you film where we don't do what we're supposed to do. It goes the other way, but for tonight, we were on point. We were dialed in. We were focused. We were moving. We made some mistakes, yes, some errors, but uh, for the most part, uh, we were playing the way we are supposed to play defensively. Shape line up in the start of the second half. What were your actions? Uh, the, the group that played when we were down against Oregon State, and we came back and just went on a roll. That same group was in there in the second half. Paris had to uh, take care of a little something 
uh, in the locker room before uh, we came out. That was the only reason Sean was, was in there at the time. So took care of him. Not bad at all. <laughs> and, and then, uh, you know, with Mike Anderson in there, I mean, those, we've noticed just those five play so well together. You can just see they're just so into playing with each other. Approved to confirm that again tonight. Will you start that group then? Well, we'll see. We could. Yeah. yeah. We could. No, no minutes for Andrew in the second half. Is that just part of that plan? Or? The way we were going, you know, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, it's one of those situations. How Our guys were playing really well. How, how valuable? We keep, we keep stats. Pabell, uh, uh, Sadu, uh, does a great job with numbers with our program. And when he breaks those plus minus numbers down, uh, Nigel has the highest plus minus on our team. In other words, when he's in the game, our lead increase, increases more than any other common denominator of anyone else in there. So he is very valuable. Did you notice? Uh, Nigel is a freshman and at times makes mistakes. At times he'll turn the ball over at times. But if you take that away, he is so heady and so focused on impacting the game the right way. I think it just brings a calm on everyone else. He's going, he's constantly, what are we doing next, coach? What's the, what's the next thing? Coach, let's do that. I mean, he's constantly doing it. And he's not doing it to get brownie points. He's doing it because he thinks this is the best way to get it done. And that's valuable to have. There are not many uh, freshmen that have the ability to do that. Mental, the mental capacity. He's starting to be a little, he's starting to be a little more assertive offensively. Is that, going to be a key to you guys winning more games? Does he need to be more assertive like that? Well, I think Nigel is great at assessing the situation, and if he needs to, I think we've seen situations like Oregon State where he just takes over the game and does that. Uh, if he doesn't need to do it, he'll distribute the basketball. Like he was saying uh, the other night we were talking, uh, Colorado scored like 10 points, 8, 10 points in the first six minutes or something like that, and then CJ got hot in the second half, and I think Andrew got hot and started distributing the ball. So, very good field on when he needs to take over and not do it. Was trade by Anderson just spontaneous? Or did you he, he was open. Those are the shots we have not been hitting on the road. And we hit them tonight. Makes a huge difference. Uh, that could have been the turning point in the game when he hit those threes. Thanks, Coach.